Come here, put the turtle behind me. Cameron has the turtle position me here, okay? First thing here, of course, I have to be aware of my opponent's control. I always tell you guys, every time you are tight, you don't, you don't rely on your control, just to tight on me, because if I grab you and roll, you're gonna roll me <laughs> here. Yep. Oh. And I can control you all the way. So at the same time, sometimes we are very connected, sometimes we just disconnect. We have to be able to have this freedom of controlling, connecting, disconnecting, uh, depending on, on what happens during the fight. Today we're gonna work a defense here, okay? So, first one is, uh, we want two simple defense. First one is when the guy is very tight on me and give me the chance to control his opposite arm here. So I'm gonna go back, control either the sleeve here, or control the wrist and make it tight. I'm gonna roll myself over my own arm, so I keep very tight here. I'm gonna tighten my elbow, put my shoulder down, and start rolling with him. As soon as I fall here, I keep my weight on his chest, my, hand, my elbow goes to the armpit, and my hand reaches to the leg. And now, I switch my base. And I can establish my position. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. So Kimber was behind me. He got, this happens a lot when my opponent gets it. Uh, do the other side. Kimber, okay. yeah, both sides. When my opponent gets this hand too deep to hug me here. That's quite a mistake with him. So I'm gonna control his arm tight, push him down, okay? So I like to just uh, start rolling on my shoulder here and start keeping his body over my body. At this moment now, I'm laying on my own elbow. So his arm is super tight under my body. He tried to pull his arm out, it's impossible. And I can just roll. All right, that's a very, very easy approach for this technique. Now I switch my head towards the leg and establish. It's super important, I keep my weight always when I go on top, always on my opponent's chest and have a good base. I'm gonna do one more time. So Cameron control me with his elbow too deep inside. I grab, control him down here, all right? Now, I'm gonna start stretching my, my inside leg. I stay, extend back here and roll. Just mm -hmm. roll. See my weight now on top. Base, I start switching my, my legs and get on top. The second one is also very simple, but it's a different situation. He gets on my back here, you know, he's not connected now, he's a little, he's a, he has a little space, so I'm gonna create more space. Right now, I cannot control his arm, let me put his arm out a little bit. If I try to roll here to recover my gun, he's just gonna push me down and flat me down. So, it doesn't work the same way. I have to make sure when I roll, to bring his body together with me. Right now, this is not happening. So if I do this to try to get my leg inside, my leg will get blocked on his leg. So what do I do first before I try to recover my guard? I am gonna create space. You guys following? So I'm here, I don't let him find me here. I always keep moving a little bit, tight my, my angles. Now I'm gonna bring my knee up and out. We did this one before, remember? Mm -hmm. And I push him away a little bit. This hand, I can control to keep a little distance, and this hand I post. Now my other leg, when I shoot, it's quite uncomfortable for him, because I'm like slicing my shin on his thigh. He gonna keep, of course, putting pressure on me and try to control me here. I get my leg out, shoot, and bring him inside my guard. Okay, we'll do one more time. So now, he got me a chance, I cannot control this arm, I'm protecting myself here, I get my knee. If I try just to open this leg, I'm gonna hit his hip, I don't know if you guys can see. So I bring my knee up and out. Now I have like a live hook, push him away. This hand post, in the same side of the leg, I block him, I like to hold the shoulder. So now I can lift my leg, shoot it, and bring back to my guard, and start playing again. Let's stand. Let's try. One, two. 
Ussa.